week. All right, Bill O'Brien leaves. Not a shocker. Always felt like he was more of an NFL guy. But in the two years he was there, he landed a superstar high school quarterback and created stability. Corey Geiger, ESPN Radio 1430. Let's start with this. Feelings this morning at Penn State. Divided, not. What's going on, Corey? Well, you would think that most of the fan base would be very appreciative and, and thankful, Colin, for the job that Bill O'Brien did here. He, he did an incredible job under just incredibly difficult circumstances. But I started to get a sense about a week ago on my show and hearing from a lot of different people that if people were to leave, that people would be upset. Now, I do want to make one distinction, Colin. The people who are upset with him leaving, it's not just the, the Joe Paterno loyalist crowd. There is that faction, but I think one of the main reasons a lot of people are upset is they feel like he turned his back on the kids who made a commitment to him and to the university during the sanctions and during a very difficult time. So it's not just a paternal loyalist crowd. It's a crowd of fans who feel like these kids came here under very difficult circumstances and they feel like Bill O'Brien, I don't want to say used Penn State, but uh, took the first opportunity to, to get out while a lot of these kids are still here. Yeah, well, college football is a transitional sport. You know, coordinators want to be coaches. Players want to go to the NFL. That's kind of the reality of it. Do you think, to me, Greg Schiano would be a tremendous fit? What's the name most bantied about today? Uh, Colin, to be honest with you, I don't see Greg Schiano at all. I don't think Penn State needs a guy that's going to come in with a really strong personality and abrasive you know, argumentative kind of guy. I think you, you still need, in a lot of ways, a healer here. You need a guy like James Franklin from Vanderbilt who's done a phenomenal job. Now, he may end up going to Texas. But from everything I know about Greg Schiano, and this isn't just about him, it's coaches like him, you don't need that everybody's got to do it my way or the highway kind of guy here. You still need a guy that's going to come in and get along with everybody and, and still, you know, and be happy doing some of the things off the field. Bill O'Brien is a football coach. He wants to coach football 24 hours a day. Well, that's not really the case here. You've still got to go out and glad hand and meet all the people and do all the PR kinds of things that college football coaches have to do everywhere. Well, you've got to do a lot more of that here because there are still some difficult circumstances with these sanctions at Penn State. Good stuff, Corey Geiger. Thanks for the update, man. Thanks, Colin. College football. All sorts of college football stuff. Let's go to Pete Futak, managing editor of Campus Insiders. 